Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating iMovie to the latest version 10.1.9. So before you guys make any update and whenever you guys do this, you guys should set up your time machine and just have it running. Okay, so back up your Mac before you make any update. Um, that's just in case you guys want to go back, you guys can using time machine. It's the easiest way. So I do have other videos explaining how to set up time machine, which you need an external hard drive, by the way. So first of all, how do you guys get to this part? Well, you guys can go right to your Apple right here. So see that Apple logo on the top left hand side. So just click right there on your third option. You guys will see the app store. You guys can click there. If for some really strange reason you guys don't see that there, which it should be, you guys can always go to spotlight search and just go into app store. Okay, so just type that in and you guys should see your app store popping up right here. All right, once you guys open that up, just go to your very last tab where it says updates and you guys will see iMovie right there. If you guys don't see iMovie here, it might already be updated. However, you guys can always search for it. Okay, so I'm gonna type in iMovie and then you guys can go right into it. And from here, you guys can update. So there's several ways to update. So you guys can see, I like to update it from here and I can see everything that's going on with this update. So this update shouldn't take you guys more than 30 minutes if you guys have really, really slow internet. Now, if you guys have moderate internet speed, then you guys should be done from five to 10 minutes max. Okay, it's not a humongous update, but uh, it's not one of those tiny ones either, okay? So as you guys can see, it's only 300 megabytes. So that really depends on you guys and your internet speed, how fast this will be done. So for my internet speed, this will not be more than five minutes in general, uh, since I timed out my uploads and downloads at this point, so I can make this update pretty fast. It shouldn't take more than three minutes in total from downloading to installing the app itself. As you know, whenever you guys make an update, it has to install as well. So there is that refresh time that you guys have that. Uh, make sure that you guys don't have any of your um, projects just halfway down or something like that when you're making this update or any update for that matter. You guys should have finished projects before installing any updates. And that goes in general, even for your entire Mac. You guys should finish up major projects or guys or have a really good time machine backup so you guys can go back on it if something happens. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.